So welcome to Tolentino Teaching. Uh, I just wanted to share with you what I do the first week of school, what I'm planning to do the first week of school. Hopefully it'll give some of you ideas or ideas of things that you could use the first week. Uh, so let me share with you what I do. Now I will include this Google Doc in the description of the video and, and in the comments section. And I'm not gonna go over, over everything on this doc. Uh, I leave everything accessible for teachers. So check it out. Uh, page one, I have all the sources that I use. And then the rest of the doc goes over the basic rationale I use for giving these activities. So uh, day one, I like to keep things lighthearted and silly. My goal is to preserve the social capital of my students. A lot of students come the first day of school and their focus is on their social standing, not academics. They want to they want to figure out who they're going to sit by at lunch. Um, they want to not embarrass themselves on the first day. They want to find their classes. So day one is lighthearted and silly. I have a survey you can check out here. Just basic, uh, basic background questions. And then I give them a silly writing prompt, <laughs> which you'll see. And then I do a quick icebreaker activity. The icebreaker activity I do on day one does not force any students to speak in front of the class. Okay. Um, it's more teacher focused. So students write something that they've done, some place they've been, and they write it down on a sheet of paper, keep it top secret. Then I read it and the students guess who wrote it. Uh, it's a cool way of learning about students and what they've done. It's a great way to start uh, many conversations. Like if a student says they've been to, I don't know, if they've been to India, then maybe we'll start a conversation on, oh, how did that go? How did you like India? Has anyone else been to India? So it's a great conversation starter and it's, a, it's an icebreaker I like. And then I give a first day of school exit ticket. I don't give exit slips or tickets that often, but on the first day, I think it's good because I'm trying to gather more information that they might not have shared in the survey. So it's a good little, uh, I like giving an exit ticket the first day. So I can learn a little bit more about my students. Like, do they have allergies? Do I've had students tell me that they don't like sitting with people behind. I, I need to know uh, little stuff or stuff that I would not be aware of otherwise. Day two, I love six word memoirs. I love having students write these out and either I either have them create a, uh, as you can see on the examples here, they create a Google slide or they create something on Canva or have students write them, write out their six word memoirs and uh, put them on the wall. Uh, it's a cool activity to get students to be a little creative, to share themselves and something we can display in the classroom. Okay, day three, uh, for not all my classes, but many of my classes, I'll do classroom norms and agreements. I like students being participatory when it comes to classroom norms and students know what basically norms and agreements are in the classroom, but this is a great way of, it's a great refresher. And I like posing the questions to students that if you were the teacher, how would you try to run a fun, fair, effective classroom? And I like to put them in my shoes because then they understand where I'm coming from when I run a class, okay? So we do classroom agreements together. And then we typically start our first writing writing sample. Now, I love this activity, show off your knowledge. Uh, I use show off your knowledge as the first writing sample I look at, a student writing, okay? And it's a great way to get to know my students' interests and passions. So basically what show off your knowledge is, is students have to write 250 words or more on a topic that they love or that they're interested in. They could write on anything. They could write on Minecraft, they can write on music, they could write on sports, they could write on cosmetology. I don't care, just show off your knowledge on a topic. And I have students write 250 words or more because it forces students to kind of stretch their thinking, which I wanna see. And then it also gives me kind of like a baseline understanding of how students, how their writing conventions work, how they use punctuation, spelling, grammar, what kind of word choices they use? Do they insert 
uh, good transitions. Like it gives me a first sample of how they write. Okay. So I love show off your knowledge is the first main writing task we do. You don't have to do a lot of research. It's just your own knowledge. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, we do an activity called learn from a classmate. Another activity I love. Okay. You got to present it properly or else students are gonna, aren't going to do it well. But basically, students have to teach a classmate something of interest. So if a student really likes skateboarding, then that student has to teach another student all the intricacies of skateboarding. Okay, And when you teach the other student something, that student has to take down the notes. And the notes have to be 150 words or more. So I love it when students become teachers and teach their classmates something. And having that 150 word threshold really helps students write enough and get enough information. Uh, they typically do it begrudgingly, but uh, 150 words is doable, okay? And the purpose of this is once they take the 150 words of no notes, what I do the next day, they keep their notes and they have to write a reflection in response to their notes. And what this is doing is starting the process and idea that taking your note, taking good notes matters, okay? And that you have to use your notes in the future. You don't just take your notes and they're done. Okay. You go back and process your notes. So I like doing an activity where students learn from a classmate, they take notes, and then they write a reflection in response to those notes. And then I typically end the week with a uh, fun activity. Who said it? Tupac or Shakespeare. Students love that activity. It's a great way to end the, end the week right. So yeah, this is what I do the first week of school. If you have any questions, please email me uh, at Tolentino, uh, teaching at gmail.com. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and our newsletter. And yeah, so this is what I do the first week of school. Hope it helps.